Okay, so the biggest uh, plus in a font editor, in my view, for the drawing workflow is what's called a scaling edit tool. So I'll show this in RoboFont and Glyphs app. And to define this, a scaling edit tool will scale a curve as you're moving it so that it's less disruptive to change a shape. So here I've got an N, it's a form I like, so you know I won't be saving any of these changes, but let's say I wanted to kind of make this shoulder a little sharper and kind of you know not so round. Well, I can select these, and if I have a normal selection tool, it's a bit annoying because like I go up like this, but you can see that it's very quickly ruining the curve. So then I have to come over here and go like this. And then maybe I have to drag these down and maybe I have to drag this over and this over. So it's a whole thing, right? So let me back out of that set of changes. Um, with the scaling edit tool, so this is an extension in RoboFont, you can drag up. Now watch the off curve point as I drag. Uh, so I'm dragging and it's not destroying the curve so fast. So by contrast, I'm going to go back to my normal edit tool. I'm dragging, and it destroys the curve very fast, especially this one, actually. You can see that it's like whoop. So with the scaling edit tool, it scales those off curves as you're moving. And even I could even move like this, and it also scales those. So what do I mean by scaling? Well, if you have a transform tool, so like I'm going to hit T here. Let's see. Did that work? Oops, uh, wrong button. All right. I'm going to hit T. So if I scale this, you can see that it it's acting a lot the same. It might I don't I haven't looked at the code, but I think that's probably literally what is happening. It's transforming the shape rather than uh, simply moving the off curve along with the main curve. So that's how you do it in RoboFont. And it's a little bit hard to understand until you really get in there and try it yourself. Uh, once you do, you very quickly realize like, oh, this, this is pretty cool. Um, so like maybe let's do one more example. Um, let's do an S, glyph stop. <laughs> uh, let's reload, sure. Maybe I accidentally saved it. Oh my gosh, sure. Wow, all right. Um, so let's do an S. So let's say I wanna move this wider to kind of make it less I don't know, more rectangular as an S. If I have my normal edit tool and I move this wider, you can see that it very quickly starts to get too flat here. There's The relationship is lost. If I use my scaling edit tool, the relationship stays in a better way. So like my curve is still kind of there and I can kind of move these around without being so dis destructive. And this may seem like a small thing, but it is hugely useful. Yeah. So that's scaling edit in uh, RoboFont. All right. Is this going <laughs> to... All right. Glyphs did not like that. I'm going to have to quit Glyphs, I guess. Can I just... Okay. Nope. Glyphs, I guess, is not liking... Oh my gosh. See, RoboFont isn't the only font editor that can be frustrating sometimes. All right, force quit. I guess having the same UFO file open in both things is not very fair to either of them. And, uh, yeah. So, and maybe Glyphs, you know, obviously isn't set up primarily for UFO files. So that's also probably hindering its performance. But anyhow, let's reopen this here and let's get a tab. All right, so here we have our SN. In Glyphs, there's not a separate tool for this. Instead, you hold Control and Option while you're dragging, and that activates the mode. So again, if we don't do either of those things, you very quickly have, let me put this beside, uh, you very quickly have a ruined curve, but if you hold control and option, it scales that curve and 
you can get something a lot nicer without ruining things. And I actually really appreciate that Glyphs does this as a shortcut, like a hotkey, but doesn't make you change tools because that just like totally improves the flow of it. If you're having a change back and forth in tools, it's just harder. Uh, yeah. And the other thing that Glyphs does really nicely is it actually changes the angle of the other curve. So like, let's look in uh, RoboFont. If I'm trying to change this and I'm in my scaling edit tool, okay, it's handling this curve really nicely, but you can see that this right here, this off curve is not handling as well as it could. It is still transforming, which is nice, but it's pointing in the wrong direction. So if I go into glyphs, the other thing I love about the scaling edit tool here is watch this off curve. It's like pointing along with me. So by the time I get to here, it's flat. And this doesn't look like a great end, but it looks actually quite a lot better than this. Because this looks terrible, right? But this, the off curve scaled along with me. So that's like just another little aspect of the scaling edit tool that makes the glyph scaling edit tool really awesome and yeah it's just great so yeah i guess my dream is that um other font editors you know sort of take note of this and if they have a drawing tool uh there needs to be a scaling edit tool and it should ideally be accessible in the main edit tool, but with a shortcut, like a hot key combo, like it is in glyphs. Um, and it should adjust the angle of adjacent kind of angled points, not simply the length of those off curves. And uh, yeah, I haven't got experience really in font lab or font creator. So they might do, they might nail this. I just don't know. Um, I don't have anything against those tools. It's just these glyphs and RoboFont are the ones that I've happened to get experience with. Um, and yeah, for a long time, I thought glyphs didn't have the scaling edit tool. Um, and so I, I thought drawing in glyphs was kind of broken in that way. I was like, wow, it'd be great if it only had that scaling edit tool. It turns out it does it even better. So yeah, if you're drawing in either of these and you aren't yet using the scaling edit tools, uh, go for it. It will change your life. Yeah. Um, yeah. Seeing this makes me think I could improve this curve ever so slightly. Eh, maybe that's nicer. Maybe not. <laughs> anyway, I'll go back to that. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to give that quick tip. If you're making a font, hope it's going great. If you just like watching boring things, thanks for stopping by.